In this video, I'll show you how to change the preferences of your system so that you can work more efficiently with QuickBooks. Startup apps are those that start as soon as you log into your system. You need to disable these apps because they often take up a lot of system resource that QuickBooks may require in order to run operations. To disable startup apps, you have some options. The first is to go to setting and then select apps select startup and you can disable all of the applications from starting up at the time of login so that you can free up system resources for quickbooks the next option is to go to the task manager and to do that you can press ctrl shift and escape in here you have the option of startup apps and from here too you can disable an app or enable it depending on your preference finally you have the nuclear option which disables all of the startup apps from starting in the first place and for that you press windows r to open the run menu type in ms config and hit enter then go to selective startup and you can disable all of the startup items using this option click on apply and then ok you can go back to the settings menu and select apps and in here you can select installed app this will display all of the apps that are installed on your system you click on the three dots and then select uninstall and you'll need administrative rights in order to uninstall the program from your system once you have selected uninstall the process will differ according to different apps and you can follow through with the preferences when you are trying to uninstall the application your web browser is going to consume a lot of system resources because it has to temporarily store a lot of information on your system so that you get those fast and snappy load times for different web applications or websites that you visit. So I recommend that you clear all of the web browser data if your system is struggling with memory or storage issues. To do this, you can open up Google Chrome or Edge or any other Chromium based browser that you are using. Simply go to settings, go to reset settings and select to restore the original settings now this is going to reset default shortcuts and settings it is going to disable all of the extensions that you have installed and also delete any temporary website data note that you will have to log into all of your accounts once again once you have reset the chrome desktop application if you head over to performance you can also enable the memory saver option if you have a lot of apps open up at a given point in time chrome will automatically shut down some of the tabs that you haven't used in a long time when you click back on those tabs the website or web page will again load so that your system can save up resources and divert them towards apps and windows that you are actively using currently in order to remove temporary data or data from uninstalled software and applications, you can use the disk cleanup option, which will locate all of the junk files and remove them from your system entirely. So it can help you free up some of that space. You can simply go to the start menu, type in disk cleanup and select the disk that you want to clean. You can select all of the folders or files that contain junk information, junk data. If you want to clean up system files that are related to your Windows program, you'll need an admin account, but otherwise you can proceed and select OK. You can select delete files and these files will be permanently removed from that drive. This is an operation that you want to perform regularly. Another great option is disk defragmentation. When you store your files on a storage device, the memory is allocated dynamically and at different places in the system. When you try to access those files and data, your system has to work extra hard to locate all of that data and to group it together. An option to eliminate this fragmentation of data on your storage device, you can select the disk defragmentation option. Then select the drive that you want to optimize or defragment and you can then select analyze or optimize directly. This process may take some time depending on the amount of data that you have in the selected drive. Then click on close and restart your system so that the changes can take effect.